Hi there, my name is Peter Giocaras and I wanted to talk a little bit about spatial video and what it means for the future of content creation and how 3D displays could fit into this future. Recently, Apple created uh, and released uh, a beta OS 17.2 for the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. What this allows you to do is record videos in their spatial format and allow these formats to be available when the Vision Pro comes out so that you can see these videos in 3D. Now, Apple has uh, the ability, or there's a beta program or beta application that allows you to export spatial videos from your phone into side-by-side -side full frame high resolution video that can then be used by other devices for example the Quest 3 or other HMDs um, or 3D displays to see your videos in 3D. Now this is a big deal and the reason is that this allows anybody who has an iPhone Pro 15 moving forward to generate 3D content and that content will grow and grow. It'll not only just capture your memories, but you'll also see the format turn into a more advanced format, which has more data in it and also tools that will allow you to edit 3D videos to create um, more engaging experiences. You know, 3D is definitely something that uh, is an extension of what we're already used to today. We've gone from still photos to 2D video, and now going into 3D video is the um, logical conclusion for the next step. Uh, right now, you um, need to wait for Vision Pro to see how they are going to take this, um, this new format and how, what they're going to do with it. Nobody knows quite yet how much more data is in this format and whether they'll allow things like uh, parallax motion if you're moving your head around or if it's simply uh, left and right video. However, I've been using this now for the last week and I've been creating little videos of things just walking around and the ability to just take your phone out and then record a video in spatial mode and then be able to upload it um, you know, to Dropbox and then download it again and then watch it on a display is pretty fantastic. Uh, right now, Athanos creates this device. It's uh, uh, basically an, an MVP or a minimum viable product of a 3D uh, sync device, which will turn a display that has the right features like this uh, LG 27 inch uh, OLED display uh, and turn it into a 3D display. So I'll show you a video that I took and by the way I've shown other videos if you go to uh, www.athenos.com and look at some of the previous videos that I've made you'll see me talking about uh, 3d movies that you can see on these displays but the great thing now is that hey I can watch my own videos and uh, I can create a collection of videos that now um, you know are from experiences that are meaningful and they are meaningful because when you see them in 3D, the um, what you're seeing, it gets stuck in your head a lot harder than just a 2D video. And by that I mean when I think about the video and when I watch it, it's in 3D and it's amazing. But the actual experience is now embedded in my head when I think about it in 3D, which is very powerful. And so let me just bring up a... Here's a cool uh, video of a train uh, that, you know, just, uh, that I was just, that I just captured. And now I'm seeing it in full frame resolution. This is a 1080p uh, screen. And I've actually upscaled the uh, frame rate to 60 frames per second. Currently, Apple um, Spatial Video records at 1080p 30 frames per second. 
uh, I really hope that they increase that because uh, 30 frames per second is great, but 60 frames per second feels like real life. So I'm just watching this now and I can just be, you know, I remember this experience explicitly when I, where I was and it just brings back so many memories, seeing it in 3D. Um, you know, I can turn it to 2D, of course, but 3D is where, um, where you know, these, these type of experiences shine. So now what does this all mean? Well, it's great to have these, uh, the ability to record spatial video in the back of our pocket. And this is potentially what some people are saying on the net, the killer app for the Vision Pro. I think spatial video is a killer app in its own right because imagine all the content that people can create now and imagine what they can do if they want to like uh, edit them in software that allows you to edit in spatial uh, in 3D. You know, you can add special effects, you can create cool snippets uh, for reels or, you know, TikTok. Those to me seem like a very logical thing to do with active 3D you know, you can have multiple people watching the display at the same time. And if you already have a monitor that allows you to see it in 3D, you don't need to upgrade. In fact, we're working towards making sure we can actually put this on any display that has a really good um, uh, response time, like OLED, QD OLED, uh, LEDs moving forward, even regular LCD screens that have a good uh, response time. Uh, you'll be able to use this device. So imagine being able to record on your phone and then being able to see it immediately in 3D. Or imagine being able to record in 3D, you know, and actually having the pass-through run on your phone and being able to actually see what you see in 3D. The format is very early stages, but it's uh, robust currently, and it's also very, um, it shows serious promise as to where it can go. So I'm excited because this represents a breakthrough in the ability for anybody to create 3D videos and create a large library of things to watch in 3D. So 3D shouldn't just be left for headsets. It can also be used on displays, something that could be 50 to hundred dollars at the end of the day to see your 3D memories on your display with other people at full frame rate <laughs> and you know, at high, at high resolution. We'll see where it goes. I'm excited. We'll find out next year should be a great year, especially, you know, when the uh, vision pro comes out. We'll see where everything goes. And anyways, I just want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this. And um, again, please go to the website www.athanos.com for more videos that I've created about where I see the future of 3D going. It goes beyond just spatial um, or just left and right eyes. There's a lot more that can be done to um, really enable really comfortable immersive experiences on displays. So. Thank you so much. I hope you're well, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.